Good morning, good morning. What's for breakfast today? Eggs? In this economy? No, we. But this podcast is free. Fair warning, you get what you pay for. And last week, oof, really, it's only been a week. Felt it was just yesterday we were bantering with the Cybertruck. I'm actually amazed I've kept this up for three episodes now. I do these just a few hours before I release them, just chatting away on the mic, seeing what slips out. It's a good way to clear your mind before the week starts, but before we get on to this week, I have to talk about last week. I had a car scare. Maybe it was the Cybertruck getting back at me. The family vehicle, as I will describe it, because again, I couldn't tell you make and model to save my life, has been acting a bit strange over the last three years. I don't think she's at end of life yet, but she's getting to that stage where she's acquiring a bit of character. The radio doesn't work. One window won't roll down. One door doesn't shut properly. The transmission or whatever snapped once, leaving us marooned at a pharmacy. It's not the broken down family jalopy yet. The piece of trash that you're going to give your kids as their first car while you get a new one. Not yet. For now, the lights on the dash go off randomly, depending on the weather and the moon. Strange rattling sounds come and go and it gives off weird smells. I'm hoping a car person hears this and tells me all I gotta do is bite it in the antenna to get it to stop acting out. But you get used to the quirks. And you learn the vehicle. It's always the tire pressure light that went off regardless of how much air I put in and the tires are fine. The car always rattled if we hauled out of the driveway too fast. But the smells were still a conundrum. An odorous puzzle I'd not yet deciphered. And then right when I thought I was figuring it out, a new smell appears. Last week, my girlfriend started the car, and as I hopped in, happy as a clam in a pair of jorts, this horrendously horrifying, obnoxious fume engulfed us. It was attacking the inside of my esophagus, and I dove out of the car yelling, Move! It smells chemical! It smells chemical? I don't know. It didn't smell like gas or oil, so I just assumed the battery cracked open and was leaking out. I don't, I don't know cars. My head was everywhere and nowhere, from the car's about to blow up to is this the car's last stanky dying breath? I don't want to deal with car payments right now. I just don't. All that was rudely ejected from my mind by my girlfriend's distasteful jeering, ew, boyfriend, faulting me for the stench. I was so inconfused. Insulted and confused. What are you insinuating, my dear? I know the scent of my own brew. And this was something new. But then it dawned on me that these were new circumstances. You see, listener, when I said happy as a clam in a pair of jorts, I did mean I was wearing freshly purchased jorts. And if you're not familiar with good denim, these things are durable and can be used as impromptu flotation devices because of how well they trap air. And while I followed the common car courtesy of releasing a breeze a few meters away from the vehicle, it was in vain. My denim joys had trapped my fumes around my waist. But wait, there's more. I was feeling festive the night prior and ordered a little treat from DoorDash. There's a Mexican restaurant near me that only serves its best stews on the weekends. A little menudo, a little birria de borrego. That's goat stew, if you don't know. Had me feeling good, like I could lift a house. But all magic comes with a price, and it was a price I paid when I cut the cheese before getting in the car. And instead of dissipating and ruining the ozone, it stayed in my britches. It concentrated itself, fermented. So when I sat down and it shot down the bottom of my shorts, I essentially gas-bombed the car. <laughs> Oh, God, it was so bad. It was, it was unrecognizable. Like, that's not my kid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm about to start crying again. Uh, no, I'm equal parts impressed and terrified of myself. It's like laying witness to the darkness within man. I've still not come to terms with the evil within me. But I regret nothing, and i do it again. Thank you for joining me on episode three of Breakfast Epiphanies. I hope you have a week as lovely as you are.